welcome back to another week here on No Minds Plus. This Thursday is Thanksgiving, so you know what that means. Lots of yummy food, amazing family and friends. And so before I even begin this video, since there will not be a post on Thanksgiving Day, I just wanted to say Happy Thanksgiving to all those who celebrate it. I am super thankful for each and every one of you darling divas, and I hope that you guys fill your belly with lots of good food. And I hope that you share some laughs with your family and friends. So, keeping Thanksgiving in mind, I decided that I would come up here and give you guys four outfit ideas for Thanksgiving. Whenever you guys see this fashion rack, you guys know that something is about to go down in styling town. Now, my fashion rack is a little empty, and that's because all of my clothes have now been properly placed in my closet. So from now on, the fashion rack is going to look a little bit naked, but that's all good because the clothes are safe and sound. Everything is pretty much okay. Now, I know there are different like styles and ways that you can go when you're dressing for Thanksgiving, whether you're super, super um, casual or if you're really, really dressy. So all these outfits are open for interpretation, but I think that all four of them can kind of be used and, and twisted and tweaked to create an outfit for you. So I'm really super excited. All the outfits you see here today will also be available on my Pinterest page. So you can go over there and repin these outfits if you'd like. Um, and yeah, so let's just hop right into this really super fun video. So, the first look is going to be called Past Gravy. And this is pretty much your basic casual Thanksgiving attire. Now, this is the kind of Thanksgiving table that I have where we're all super casual, coming dressed up in anything, ready to grub and ready to chill. So, for this look, I definitely had to go with my go-to pair of leggings, my Lise um, Jennifer Singing Pant. The reason why I'm going with leggings is because I'm going to be stuffing this belly, so I need to have something stretchy. When I'm at Thanksgiving, I like to have my most comfortable pants. I call them my eating pants. And this year, these are going to be my eating pants. I like to have something that's stretchy, that's comfortable, because I'm going to be stuffed just like the turkey on the table. So I want to make sure that, you know, ain't no buttons popping and flying, that I'm super comfortable for when I get in my food coma in a couple hours. <laughs> so definitely going to rock with my leggings. Now, if you're somebody who does not like that means as pants, that's totally fine. I totally get it. I am also somebody that's like that, but these leggings have definitely converted me to the leggings as pants side because they are um, constructed very well, so they seem like pants. Um, but you can also replace this with a pair of denim, a pair of jeggings, whatever is comfortable for you. But something comfortable and stretchy is where we're going with this. So to keep it real basic and simple, I'm just going to pair it with a t-shirt. Um, and like I stated in my basics video, when I wear leggings, I like to have a shirt that's going to cover me in my no-no squares, is what I call them, you know, the, mm -hmm, yeah, those. So this uh, top from, uh, where is it from? From Juno Rose. Both of these items I got in my Dia boxes. Um, this is a long sleeve top and it covers my butt. So I love, love, love that. And it also toggles the front. The high-low feature is really, really awesome. So just a simple, you know, black on black real casual. You can also throw on a t-shirt if you want to. Something really casual. And so to break up all of this black and to give me a little bit of contrast, I would also throw in my denim shirt. Love, love this piece. All three of these pieces are from my basics videos. So you will start to see in these videos from now on how I really take those pieces and create outfits. And that's just to further show you why those are basics. They're you can pretty much make any outfit possible with this. So this is pretty much something that I would wear for Thanksgiving. Very casual, stretchy so I can get my eat on, and so I can fellowship and have fun with my family. So this is probably what I'm going to be wearing. So of course I'm not going to show you this outfit and not tell you what it, show you what it looks like. So here's what the past the gravy look looks like to try it on. Okay, so this next look is called Formal with the Fam. And this is if your Thanksgiving dinner table is a little bit like dressy. So if your mama, grandmama then want you to look a little bit dressed up and put together for Thanksgiving, totally understand that. 
then this outfit is going to be perfect for you. Now, of course, you can always go with a skirt or a dress. That's always great. But I decided to pick a pair of printed pants because pants are really super comfortable and I figured that they would work for anybody no matter what your preference is. So a pair of printed pants is going to give your outfit some pizzazz, it's going to shake things up a bit, and it's just, just like very fashion forward. Now, there are definitely a pair of printed pants out there for everybody, so if this one's too loud for you, you can do a simple print or maybe a colored pant if you want to go, you know, really bold somehow. You can do that, or you can take your basic pants and pair it with a really bright colored top if you want to, you know, kind of balance it out. So since my bottoms are printed, I decided to keep the top of my outfit solid so that I can create balance. So basically, I would pair it with this beautiful blue top. This top is from Burlington Co. Factory, and these pants are from Old Navy. So basically, I create balance by adding a bright color on top and print it on the bottom. And this is gonna add a splash of color and create some contrast. Now you can always flip it so you can have a printed top and a solid bottom if that's what you prefer. But I like to, pretty much I wear my, my prints uh, all over the place, up and down, down, up, whatever. But if you're somebody who is trying on a printed pant or somebody who kind of just wants to have a little bit of a pop, you can choose to do prints top or bottom, whichever is comfortable for you. So of course, I have to add something else in the mix. So I'm going to add a cardigan. Simple black cardigan will do. Um, or you can add a blazer if you want to make it look a little bit more dressy and formal. Basically, what I was going for this look was what I would wear to work if I worked at a place that was business casual. So some place that's a little bit business but still kind of casual, this is definitely something that you could also wear to work. So I think this is also appropriate for the dinner table. It's comfortable, it's cute, it's fashion forward. And you could definitely go out like for a drink or hang out with your friends afterwards if you had like events to go to after um, you leave the Thanksgiving table. This is actually a very great look that you could wear out afterwards. Just swap out whatever shoes you're wearing for heels and grab a clutch and you'll be ready to go. So here is how formal with the family looks like try it on. it doesn't matter it's 2016 so um, this is for if you're meeting the parents of your spouse you know your boo thing y'all get serious you know you want to meet the family you know they telling you girl you know come meet the family come meet my parents come meet the fam everybody so you're like oh my god what am I gonna wear now you want to make sure that you have something that is covered up something that's not gonna show all your games all over the place but you still want to look good because your boo is there so sometimes it's kind of like how do I do that? So the best way that I think you can do that with is a dress. You can never go wrong with the dress. Especially something that's full coverage, a nice bold print, gonna make you look very feminine, very flirty, and you're just gonna stand out and look amazing. And I guarantee you that they're gonna be talking about your dress all night long. Now, the dress that I chose and I know my plus favorite, this dress has been styled so many times on this channel, but that is because it's a good, good dress. This is my Peter Piloto dress from Target, and it's super amazing. What I love about this dress is that it is completely, like, all the way conservative. Covers all the girls, because the neckline is all the way up at the top of my neck, and it hits all the way to right below the knee. So my butt's not showing, my boobs is not showing, but I'm still looking amazing. This dress is made out of a jersey, like, stretchy material, so it's super comfortable, very soft. You can stick with your eat on, but still look cute. And that's what's important here, the food. Like, come on now, the food. So, a dress like this, um, you can definitely find anywhere, especially this time around. You can find them at Forever 21, you can find them at Target like I did, Look your local plus size stores, but you want to be careful about where the dress hits. So you don't want to look like you're wearing a straight, like, body condition you wear at a club. You want to definitely make sure that you're wearing something that has a conservative length because you're meeting some people's families. You might be giving out hugs. You might be bending down. You want to make sure everything is covered. So if you find a dress but it kind of hits that mark 
What you're gonna do to get away with it is you can wear leggings or tights and then boots. Um, preferably tall boots because then that'll kind of give you a little bit of, you know, balance with it. Um, so if you find that your dress is a little, little too short, um, then you can always add tights underneath. Or you can layer up and add a skirt over it and just wear the dress as a print on top. Just like I did in my um, Shop Your Closet video for the office attire. I basically had a dress that was too short, so I added a skirt on top of it to kind of give me some more length. So you could also do that. But either way, you want to be comfortable, you want to represent yourself well, and you want to make sure his mama loves you. Because that's how you're going to get that ring, girl. How else you going to get that ring? So here is how meeting his mama looks like tried on. to the last look for this video this video is a very short and sweet video but I swear I had so much fun with it and I hope you guys are enjoying it so far um, and it's gonna call be called hostess with the mostess so you decided this year that you would invite everybody over your house for Thanksgiving you've been cooking slaving you've been baking turkeys you've been taking pies you just been doing it all okay and so now comes the time for you to spruce yourself up because you want to look, you know, appropriate. You're you're inviting people into your home so you don't want to look a hot mess. And what if they're taking pictures? And you know, this is a representation of your home. So you wanna look good. I got you, girl, don't worry. So I think the best way to go is a skirt and a blouse. Because it's kind of dressy, it's very welcome to my homish. And you can kind of never go wrong with that combination. So I decided that I would go with my bright green skirt from Eloquia. I got this in my Dia box for November. Now, what I love about this skirt is that it's so full. It's kind of that Susie Homemaker kind of look, and I absolutely love that. It has a very vintage retro feel to it, and this color is amazing. And being that Christmas is right around the corner, because I already went to Walmart, and they already have all of that up, so that means that Christmas is coming, like, tomorrow. Um, this, drew, this skirt is just appropriate for holiday season. So really cute I love it I think it's a wonderful option obviously you don't have to pick this one but I think a skirt is the best way to go and so I decided to pair it with this blouse I got this blouse from my October via box and I love this combination of the print and the um the solid color this is kind of an example of what I was talking about in the um from with the family video where you can balance out print with color so in that one, I have my print at the bottom and my color at the top. But in this outfit, I have my color at the bottom and my print at top. So you can switch it around and play with it no matter what you're, you know, comfortable with. A crazy girl like me would wear this top with those pants. But, you know, it's the holidays, so I'm just going to kind of calm it down for a bit with the fam. Um, but I think that a blouse and a skirt is something that's really cute. It shows welcome to my home. It's really popping. And you can throw it together in two minutes or less. Because we know that you just got done. We know that you just got done setting that table. And we know that you just got done making that cranberry sauce. So you have to rush into your room and get ready real quick. So grab a skirt, grab a blouse, and welcome everybody into your home. So here is how Hostess with the Mostess looks like. Try it on. today's video it was very short and sweet and i hope you guys enjoyed it which look do you see yourself wearing for thanksgiving this year comment it down below and let me know you can please check out my blog at www.nothingmindsbyplus.blogspot.com the link will be down below and in that blog post you guys will see the pictures for each outfit where each piece is from please be sure to come back here on friday black friday that is for another blog post. It's going to be another fun fashion -y video, of course. And I'm also going to be dropping some uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday and all those good stuff, um, those shopping guides. I put them out every year, so this year is no different, so be on the lookout for that on Friday. So like I said, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys have a wonderful and safe holiday. 
I will see you guys here on Friday. And of course, I have to tell you, I love you. I said, turn the tops. I will see you on Friday. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And peace.